Dr. Fizz here on four momentum revisited and some comments on four vectors uh, that we encountered earlier. The four momentum we already have seen and since the energy is mc squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared we have energy is also gamma mc squared which means this f uh, zeroth component here uh, can be written as the energy divided by c if you divide this by C, you get that. Now that's really a neat observation because that means the four momentum consists of the regular momentum and the extra slot here, the fourth dimension is energy. So just like your uh, four dimensions in space has your x, y, z and time, your momentum, four momentum has your regular momentum and energy. Your four velocity has your regular velocity here and your speed of light and the gamma factor because we're taking derivative with respect of the proper time, as is, which is very important. Now notice this, I'm free to move in space. I can pick different uh, v's, but what about time? I can't stop that. In other words, I'm pulled forward in time at speed at the speed of light. So you can think of this as like my x, y, and z speed and my time speed. So I'm forced to go into the future at the speed of light, but I can settle down here and make this zero. I can stop my speed in space, but I can't stop my speed in time. So that's a nice observation. Uh, here in the rest frame, if p, uh, in the rest frame you don't move, so p is zero, and you have energy. You might think of that as sort of like momentum in time. And here, nice little trick, we, we already saw that the length of the four momentum vector uh, is m squared c squared. So if we are to apply it now with our new form for it, we have, you know how you do these things, you take the time one, square it, and subtract the, uh, the spatial one. That's the basic idea of relativity in taking these lengths. So e squared over c squared minus p squared has to be m squared c squared and if you multiply by uh, c squared to get e squared is m squared c4 plus p squared c squared. That's really nice to remember with this n triangle where you have the hypotenuse is e, you have mc squared, you have pc right angle. So you know e squared gets you the hypotenuse squared, mc squared gets you this first piece and piece squared c squared gets you that one. So if the angle is zero, all your energy is at rest energy. You have no momentum, no speed. So e equals mc squared. Then if you look at the uh, combination of energy that you have here when you have an angle theta, you have your, uh, you, you take the square root of this of course, but you basically have some energy in the, uh, due to the movement. And if your angle should go to 90, where E equals PC, you're moving the speed of light, and that is true for light, E equals PC.